Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Goal and Bodybuilding, Motion. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one rep maxes. And I have made a video on this before, but I just recently had a guy, and he's a subscriber for quite a long time, uh, tell me adamantly that one rep maxes don't cause injuries. So I guess I have to make this video again. So the whole point of lifting weights is to gain muscle, to become healthier, and to get stronger, of course. But that doesn't mean that you have to do it through one rep maxes. One rep maxes, if anything, have very little training advantage to them. And there's really no reason for you to test one rep maxes except for ego reasons, right? A lot of people, they just want bragging rights to tell people what they could do for a one rep max. Now, it is true that you can do one rep maxes and not get injured, but it is also true that your injury potential goes up exponentially when you start to increase the intensity, especially to the one rep max, uh, you know, range. Right, so you might get the weight all the way up or you, you might not, right? It's, it's one of those things where if one thing goes wrong, one thing goes wrong, then you could have a muscle tear or a severe injury or a bursitis of some sort. Now, the other thing that people don't understand is that when you're doing a one rep max and everything is perfect or functioning right in your body, which is rare, because as you go along this game for periods of time, you start to realize that sometimes a shoulder is a little bit off or maybe you had a minor tear or a labral issue or something that is not necessarily perfect. You know, sometimes you have things that aren't necessarily running perfect in the body. And once you start to go into the one rep max range, you start to exploit these weaknesses even more so than you normally would under uh, reasonable rep ranges or reasonable weight intensities and because of this a lot of times when you're doing that one rep max you know that's when something will tear or pull in a way that you didn't expect that just seems to happen out of nowhere with no warning so when you're doing a one rep max you're straining a hundred percent and you're not giving yourself any room for failure or let's just say uh, deviation from that form if the form deviates a little bit, that can cause a career-ending injury right, right then and there. And I've seen it happen. I've watched a guy tear his pec on the bench. I've seen other people drop barbells on themselves. I've seen lots of stuff in the 35 years of training. And any person out there, any advanced person for sure, like a lot of the, even the strength guys, even the strength guys will tell you that there's very little training advantages to testing your one rep maxes. You know, I mean, a lot of times guys in competition, they'll do a one rep max, but they're actually not hitting their max. A lot of times they're maybe a rep or two in the tank. And even then you see a lot of power lifters tearing pecs or having massive, massive injuries from testing that one rep max. But that is an accepted risk that they take part in when they're doing that sport, right? But is that the ideal way for you to train and to maintain longevity in the gym? I would say absolutely not. So. You can, you can enable yourself to buy into this delusion, but I'm going to tell you that at some point, you're gonna be like a fly hitting a window. You're going to experience something majorly wrong from doing so, right? You have no idea how many guys have tweaked their lower back permanently, doing one rep maxes on the deadlift, or you know, doing one rep maxes on a bench, tearing their pec, or, or messing up some, some sort of part of their rotator cuff. I mean, it has happened so many times, like I can't even remember all the stories, I'm telling you. So, you could trust me or not, you know what I mean? Like if, uh, if you make a comment and you say, uh, hey Jason, what do you think of one rep maxes? And I tell you, well, you know, they increase the risk of injury and then you just say, no, they don't. I'd ask you like, why are you even watching my channel if you don't think that I know something? I mean, I've been doing this 35 years. I've seen some stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff with my own body and with other people. And I'm gonna tell you, if you insist on doing one rep maxes regularly, it's gonna be a problem. So you can get away with it for a period of time. And I know some guys who have tendons, you know, as thick as poles, they sometimes can get away with it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be able to get away with it. And, and really the real question is, does it give you any more results? If it's not giving you better results, why are you doing it and increasing your risk of injury at the same time? It's, it's really purely an ego thing at that point. You know, if I honestly thought that doing one rep maxes were going to increase your amount of muscle mass and the health of your body, as well as increase your strength, then I would say by all means do it. But in my experience, straining constantly like that 
does nothing but tear things down in a very dysfunctional way. So yeah, you could trust me on that or go find out for yourself. It's, it's up to you, really. I mean, I understand some of this type A personality that goes on with, with bodybuilding, you know. Uh, it, it does have a tendency to be a little stubborn when it comes down to listening to other people. I can admire that. I could totally admire that because in the end, I want you to conduct your own experiments and find out what works for you. But I'm also trying to alleviate some of the mistakes that you can't come back from, okay? Right? There's, there's some mistakes you just can't come back from and, uh, or at least you're forever changed by them. <laughs> and I'm trying to help you not have to go through that. But if you want to go through that, then you have my blessing just, just you know, what, you know what they say, fuck around and find out, right? It's kind of like that. So just, just go, go nuts, you know what I mean? I'll love you anyway, you know? It's not like I haven't made mistakes, but that's why I'm here telling you the mistakes that I made. I'm trying to give you that information. So yeah, take it or leave it, you know? These, mon these monsters in the woods, you know, they keep, you know, fucking around and eventually they're gonna find out. Yeah, they're gonna find out, you know, the many uses for an exercise stick. That's what's gonna happen. But they still keep fucking around, so, you know, hey, who am I to tell them what to do? Who am I to say? Mountain. So anyway, I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgolandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now.